How's it going, guys? Right, today I'm going to jump straight. I love how I just jump straight into the, the video topic here. Um, I'm going to be talking about a new type of tea which I've just discovered called Guayusa. Okay, and this stuff comes from, um, from Ecuador. And I, I got lucky, I got uh, in contact with a guy that's just started producing this, uh, importing it, and uh, selling it in the UK. Uh, and I, I'm just going to do a little review of it here, okay? Because it has really interesting implications for lucid dreaming. Like it's not just um, it's not just uh, another green tea, you know, another flavored tea, that sort of thing. It's actually really special, and there's a number of reasons for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So guayusa, okay? Amazonian energy, and this is what the uh, the, the packet will look like. Uh, it's basically a type of tea uh, which can improve your cognitive function, your dreams, your memory, uh, and your energy throughout the day. And the way it works is that it basically is a highly caffeinated leaf. Okay, it has pretty much the same amount of caffeine as Red Bull coffee, even maybe slightly more. Uh, and it can last all day. So, so normally, say if you drink a coffee, uh, you know, at eight in the morning, the energy might last for about an hour or two, maybe three to four hours, uh, and then you're sort of it will wear off, and you won't feel the energy as much throughout the rest of the day, right? Uh, and then hence why you need to drink another cup at lunchtime, and then another cup at four o'clock or whatever. And then the end result is you might have a, the occasional productivity boost, but Generally speaking, you're going to be like uh, a little bit drained, especially in the evening when you try and go to sleep. Okay, it can keep you awake as well. Uh, this, however, Guayusa, uh, is not like that at all. Okay, so it will give you the same energy, if not more. I find I actually have much more energy when I try this compared to coffee, uh, but it will last all day. I find I can just drink one cup, maybe two cups of this stuff, uh, and I have like I'm sort of on for the whole day. I can just focus on whatever I want to do. You know, I can write my blog posts. I can just stay on track. Okay, um, and it the reason that it uh, lasts longer and doesn't give you that sort of jitteriness uh, is because it's got a substance called L-theanine. Okay, and what this does is it counteracts the jitteriness from the caffeine, uh, and it makes the whole experience last longer and it feels much smoother. That's the best way of describing this. Okay. So I've been trying this for about a week now, um, and I loved it so much that I'm I'm going to be getting more, um, and in, you know it's basically going to be part of my life. I'm going to be drinking this stuff probably every day, uh, and it's really a great way to improve your lucid dreams as well. Okay, so I just want to share a bit about what I did with this for my lucid dreams, um, but just bearing in mind that it's not just for lucid dreams; it's also something you can use daily instead of coffee, and I think it's better than coffee. So for lucid dreaming. Uh, what I do with this is I have uh, a cup, so I'll brew a cup of this Guayusa, uh, and I'll get it ready for you know when I'm going to sleep. I'll put it by my bed, and then I will use it in conjunction with the wake back to bed method. Now this technique is where you set your alarm for two hours before you would normally wake up, and you're going to be targeting your REM sleep. Okay, so just very quickly for those of you who who aren't aware, um, your REM sleep is where most of your dreams happen. Um, and it's the best time to lucid dream. So you normally have the longer periods of REM sleep towards the end of the night. So uh, say if you go to sleep at about 10, wake up at about 6, your REM sleep will be roughly 3 to 4 a.m. That's when your longest periods of REM sleep will be happening. So what you want to do is you want to set your alarm for that time, wake up, and then do a wild technique, the wake-induced lucid dreaming technique. Uh, and obviously if you were doing that, you would combine that with drinking some of this, uh, it can be drunk cold as well as hot, and it will greatly improve your chances of having a lucid dream. Uh, and the way it does this, the reason it does this, is because of the caffeine keeping your mind awake and aware, and the L-theanine keeping you relaxed and almost sedated. Not quite sedated, but it keeps you in a relaxed state. So what this means is, <laughs> it's really clever the way it works, because it means your mind is kept awake from the caffeine, Okay, so you'll have that alertness and awareness, you can be aware of what you're doing, hence lucid dreaming. And the L-theanine and some certain other ingredients keep you relaxed. So you're not going to be waking up as you would if you'd just done an espresso. Because if you have an espresso at three in the morning, I guarantee you, you're not going to be able, you're not going to be able to fall back to sleep. Okay, you're going to be awake. That's the, that's the start of your day right there. Um, so that's why this is really cool for lucid dreaming. Um, and I would suggest this is probably one of the best lucid dreaming teas out there. Um, obviously there are other ones, but I personally, I really like this one. And I think I'm going to be using this a lot. So 
I'm going to put a link in the description. I've got a more detailed blog post about this stuff, uh, including some, some pictures and some guides on how to brew it. Just a very quick guide if you are interested in having, uh, you know, getting your hands on some of this stuff. Uh, basically what you want to do to brew it is just have one to two teaspoons of the leaves. They come loose in a packet like this. I've shown you this a million times now, but I'm just going to show you again. Uh, and the leaves come loose in the packet. Okay. I don't know if you can see that there in the video. Um, and what you do is you just take one to two teaspoons, put it in a cup, boiling water, leave it for six to ten minutes. I like to leave mine for 15 minutes just to make sure it's completely infused and all the strength of the leaves is coming out into the water. Uh, and then it's fine to drink. You can either drink it normally and just let the leaves settle at the bottom of the cup. I don't know why I'm using this as a cup. <laughs> um, or you can just get a tea strainer. I've just ordered a tea strainer today. Uh, and then you can just strain it and just drink it normally. Now you can sweeten it. I don't like to sweeten it because I actually quite like the taste. Uh, you can add milk, you can do whatever you want to it, okay? Um, personally, I like to just let it sit for 15 minutes, strain the leaves off, and then drink it. I don't like to put any sugar in it because I feel like I actually like the taste of it naturally. Um, so yeah, go ahead, and if you're interested, check the link in the description. It will tell you a lot more about this stuff. And I'm going to leave it there for you guys for that video. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and click the button. It's like... Right there, just go ahead and click it, and then you can get my new videos. I'll see you in the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos and you like what I do on this channel, you can actually support me using the Patreon link down in the description, or I'll put one that will come here as well. And that's patreon.com forward slash house lucid. And it's a way you can sort of support me um, with giving small monthly amounts, and it really does make a huge difference to me. And um, it allows me to keep doing these videos. Also, if you'd like to get a free Lucid Resource Guide PDF, make sure you click the link that should be in the corner here, and I'll see you in the next video.